What is going down, T subs and T squad? So, y'all check this out. Make sure to follow the social medias that all of you see before y'all, especially the Twitter and or X. I'm close to a thousand of them. Very, very close. I think I'm about a, a 20, 20 more or less. 20 more people or less. So again, anybody new to the channel, if you have a Twitter and or X, if you accepted your um updating that, definitely make sure to follow, 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 follow. Okay. Twitter and Instagram are the main two sources to know whether I, I'm live or know any type of video or review or anything of that sort. Definitely make sure to follow. And also subscribe if you have not. If you would like to donate to the channel, the PayPal and the Cash Apps are also available. And shout out to all of my Cash Appers, um, PayPalers, the super thanksers that constantly, you know, give little of this, a little of that. I be seeing it and I totally be appreciating it. So thank y'all. Yeah, child. Um, girl, y'all heard it here, uh, but you didn't hear it here first. But yeah, he done came out and then admitted that he was a sugar foot. And that's fine. That's cute. I'm all down for that. But Dwight, did you do it? All right. Are you, in fact, guilty of sexually, you knowing this or, or trying to this um other little young sugar foot? Because he's still coming out here saying that you tried to force yourself upon him. And you ain't even had to do all of that. I mean, I don't know. Dwight. I don't know. This is what the young man is still a legend. You know what I mean? But you came out here and you admitted to one thing, but you ain't admitting to whether or not this really happened or whatever. I don't know, child. But this story comes from Love B. Scott. Shout out to Love B. Scott. Um, that's where I got this from. Of course, other sources picked it up and talked about it as well. But this particular one comes from Love B. Scott. So definitely shout out to her. And it says, and I quote, Dwight Howard admits meeting man on Instagram to hook up. Then as lover was assaulted or forced into a threesome. Um, this is this is a mess, child. Howard denied he sexually assaulted a man he met on Instagram and has asked a court to dismiss the man's bombshell lawsuit. According to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, the NBA legend has admitted that he met his uh, accuser, Stephen Harper, Stephen Harper, Stephen or Stephen, I think it's Stephen, Harper on social media in May 2021. Uh, where is it? Harper said he reached out to Howard with a di with a direct message on Instagram. He said he sent his cell phone number, which Howard texted after he received. In his lawsuit, he said Howard told him that he was into freaky sexual stuff, that he asked for Harper to send him explicit photos. In his response, Howard said that he did exchange texts with Harper. Hold on. In, in his response, Howard said that he did exchange texts with Harper between May 2021 to July 2021, several of which included sexually explicit content such as photos and videos. The ex-NBA star said Harper came over his home July 19, 2021. Howard admitted that they went to his bedroom, removed their clothes, and engaged in consensual kissing. In his lawsuit, Harper claimed Howard surprised him by bringing out a man dressed as a woman. <laughs> Harper said Harper said the man called himself Kitty. <laughs> In his complaint, Harper <laughs> Harper said Howard wanted a threesome with Kitty, but he resisted. He said Kitty started performing oral sex on Howard. Harper said he was uncomfortable and did not want to participate. He said Howard tried to touch his thigh and stroke his penis through his underwear. Harper said he asked Howard to stop. Instead of listening, he claimed Howard. Hold on. Uh, where is it? Harper said he was uncomfortable and he did not want to participate. He said Howard tried to touch his thigh and tried to stroke his penis through his underwear. Harper said that he asked Howard to stop instead of listening. He claimed Howard told him he was going to do whatever and he was going to like it. 
Defendants stood up, towering over Harper, grabbed Mr. Harper by the thighs, forcibly removed Harper's underwear. Um, hold on, because it's loading a whole bunch of unnecessary BS. Y'all know how this goes. Um, the defendant stood up, towering over Mr. Harper. He grabbed Mr. Harper by the thighs, forcibly removed Mr. Harper's underwear, held Mr. Harper down, and performed non consensual or sex on Mr. Harper. The suit read Mr. Harper was in fear of of immediate bodily harm when he was pinned down and forced to remain in place while defendant continued to sexually assault him. Harper said Howard stopped, stopped performing the sexual act on him when he realized Harper wasn't enjoying it. The suit said Howard then ordered Harper to his bed. Harper said Kitty was having sex with Howard. Harper said Howard forced him to perform oral sex on him. He said he tried to call an Uber after the incident, but Howard made Kitty take him home. Um, the lawsuit accused Howard, wait, the lawsuit, uh, where is it? Oh, here we go. The lawsuit accused Howard of sex assault battery intentional inflection of emotional distress and false imprisonment. In his response, Howard denied that Harper was surprised by Kitty. He said plaintiff was aware that, I wish it would stop doing this. Harper said that he, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? In his response, here go doing this shit again. Love B. Scott, get this together. In his response, Howard denied that Harper was surprised by Kitty and said the plaintiff was aware that was aware that would also be arriving at the home prior to the plaintiff even arriving at the defendant's home. Howard admitted that Kitty was a man dressed was a man dressed as a woman, but I mean, yeah, we knew that. In addition, Howard admitted that he touched Kitty and Harper, but said it was all consensual activity. The three agreed to touch one another and to engage in consensual, ah, and to engage in consensual sexual activity, Howard Lewis wrote. Howard denied he sexually assaulted Harper or forced him to receive or perform any sexual acts. He has demanded the entire lawsuit be thrown out of court. Uh, as Radar Online first reported in his lawsuit, Harper submitted text messages. He submitted text messages and an Uber receipt from July 19, 2021 to prove he did visit Howard's home. Y'all, I'm sorry, but y'all know how Love B. Scott website is, child. It's trying to upload too many damn things at once. And when it does that, and when I'm reading, it makes the page jump up and down. So I'd be losing my place. I don't know why these outlets do that. If y'all know y'all got YouTubers that read y'all ish, y'all need to get that together so the page don't got to be jumping all up and damn down while we trying to read y'all damn article. Anyway, shout out to Lil B. Scott, though. Listen, Dwight, did you do it? Now, while I'm glad you came out as a bisexual sugar foot, that's cute. But did you do it? Did you do it? I'm starting to believe this guy because just because this man is gay and or bisexual doesn't mean that he's into transgenders. It doesn't mean that he's into drag queens and it doesn't mean that he's into the in-betweens. It doesn't mean that he's into the sissies. It don't mean that he's into the twins. So did you do that, Dwight? Did you make, did you have this boy come up over here under false pretenses? Did you trick this boy into doing any of your sexual proclivities? And I got, guy, did you trick him? Dwight, if you did that, that won't cool. Dwight, don't be running around out here being a, being a bisexual sugar foot, but you bring in this type of attention to the, the community. It ain't right. It ain't cool. It ain't fair. Okay. It's against the law and a crime for you to take a woman's pussy without her permission. And it's damn sure against the law for you to try to take a boy's pussy without his permission. All right? He won't into kitty. If you into the transgenders, the cross dressers, the drag queens, the, the twinks, the queers, that's fine. Dwight, that's fine. But just because he's in that lifestyle don't necessarily means that he's into that particular sector. I know what that's like because I'm not either. I'm not sexually attracted to that, even though I'm gay. I'm not sexually attracted to 
transgenders and 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 you know transsexuals or whatever whatever they want to be called girl i ain't into all of that like i will be turned off from that too my dick would not get hard with that either so i ain't gonna lie dwight i kind of believe stephan i do i believe stephan i believe everything happened that he said he did because his story is way too detailed and i i, I can believe it especially when you co corroborated parts especially when you said well you saw that he wasn't interested you saw that he wasn't turned on you saw this and saw that so yeah i can believe that you forcefully tried to pin him and make him like it or or in hopes that by you giving him oral sex or you sucking him off or whatever, that he would like it or then get turned on. So then y'all can do what y'all, your little sexual proclivities or whatever, but he won't end that, Dwight. And that won't right, that won't cool, that won't fair. Find you a sugar foot that's into other, you know, transgenders like you. All right. Find other uh, sugar foots that's into the drag queens. Or that's into the cross dresses. That there are sugarfoots that's into that. Go find them, search them out, and then y'all can do that type of a thing together. That's what you see. This is how I know you kind of still new to it, new to it for real, for real. Because even though you old, I think you still kind of new to it. Because you know you fresh out the NBA, so now you could do whatever the flying hell you want to do, and you ain't got to worry about no BS that got to come with. Not trying to make excuses for you, Dwight, but you really need to get your life together, girl. Ain't nobody got no time for that, Miss T. All right, nobody got no kind of time for that, Miss T. You really need to get your life in order. Serious. Because nobody wants they well, nobody, nobody, male or female, wants to be head down without their will or forced to be made to do something sexually that they're not into, they're not interested in, and they don't want to do. This is why it's just good to be honest, Dwight. It's cool to just be honest and it's cool to just be like, well, listen, this is what I'm into and this is what I want to do sexually. Let me know if you're into that or not. And you could just alleviate all of this. Oh my God, child, Dwight. Like, what is this? Listen, Dwight, it really won't no coming out for you because Dwight, I'm going to tell you something. I remembered you back in 2007, 2008, when you were still with the Orlando Magic. That's when y'all was doing damage. That's when y'all went all the way to the NBA Finals and um, and Kobe's and the Lakers wore y'all ass out. But that was my first time knowing who you was. And even then, in 2008, I said you was a sugar foot. I said that. We all know our kind. We were no matter how DL you want to be, and it don't matter your damn profession. None of us was shocked or surprised by this, Dwight. When your baby mammy Roy said it way back when, we believed it then. But you can't be out here forcefully taking it upon yourself to do anything with nobody, Dwight. Man, woman, damn show sure not boy, girls. You know what I'm saying? But men or women, like you, you can't do that, Dwight. Get it together. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got to know. Y'all let me know. Do y'all believe Stefan or do y'all believe Dwight? I believe Stefan. I'll be honest. I, I, I believe Stefan. I believe Stefan, but that's just my belief. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Dwight being a sugar foot, a tambourine playing sugar foot coming on out, coming on out the closet, six feet seven and all that good stuff, child. And you's a nasty. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm gone because y'all want to know my opinion so bad. That's my opinion. Y'all let me know y'all opinion. I'm gone. <laughs> Bye.